Back to Gaudreau, down low, scores! It doesn't matter what city you live in, Canadians are anxious to bring hockey back. My dad and brother are just missing it so much, they're going crazy. <laughs> sure, Flames fans may be excited, but sorry Calgary, other than a chance at making the playoffs, you'll have little to do with the proposed resurrected season. <laughs> Of all the cities being looked at to host the NHL playoffs, Edmonton, Vancouver and Toronto are the only Canadian spots on the shortlist. So which Canadian city should it be? You have Vancouver with your beautiful mountains and ocean backdrop and yes, you've hosted the Olympics before. You have Toronto, Canada's most populous city. And then you have Edmonton with your... with your... <laughs> Northern charm. In all seriousness, Edmonton's new Rogers Place is a world-class facility, nestled in the heart of the Ice District with hotels and services for the players. Toronto's Maple Leafs have the only four-sheet practice hub in the league, not to mention NHL staff already happen to be based in the city. And Vancouver says it has enough five-star hockey rinks and luxury hotel rooms to accommodate up to 12 NHL teams at once. If I was bringing my family from some part of uh, North America or indeed from Europe, uh, would I want to spend uh, a, a summer in Toronto, Edmonton, or Vancouver? I think Vancouver speaks for itself. The reality is none of the Canadian cities may end up being chosen. Commissioner Gary Bettman has made it clear if Canada doesn't change the 14-day isolation policy for players coming from south of the border, Canadian cities just won't work. The NHL is set to make its decision in a couple of weeks. For City News, I'm Mike Yanni.